I'm doing this video because a number of people I talked to yesterday said I should do. And it again is one of those to do with Vin and Paul Walker. It is again to explain in simple, plain, straightforward English that those two lying sacks of shit are bisexual. I've always known Vin's been bisexual. I've known for years that he's bisexual. I questioned about it more than 10 years ago. There are still posts still floating around to this day that have my original name, which is why this is called VLT That's Me, because VLT stands for Vin's Love Toy. The reason I have the name Vin's Love Toy is because when he was lying to me and posing as Leif Garrett, I turned around and said I'd rather be Vin's Love Toy than your wife. That's why I'm known as VLT. That's why I'm known as Vin's Love Toy. That's how long I've been dealing with this man. The posts are still floating around, as far as I know, still to this day, on things like the rumour board and a few other boards that are at the unofficial Vin Diesel fan club. There's still one or two posts still over at the um, Vin Experience site, even though they've moved a few times over the years, as far as I know. And the reason being is because I started asking questions after the conversations I used to have with what we now know as Vin and what we now know as Paul. That's why I started asking questions, because of the IDs they were using were not matching up to the women they were supposed to be, or the men they were supposed to be, but to what Paul and Vin were doing. Later, of course, I challenged Vin over it, and he admitted to a number of things. Here's the other thing, too. People keep bitching about um, what I'm saying is libel. It's not libel, nor is it slander, because it's the truth. You cannot be sued for telling the truth. And if he were going to try and sue me, he'd have to explain how he knows me, why I'm saying what I'm doing, and all the things he's done. That means that him and Paul, if he was still alive, would have to admit to their catfishing, their bullshit, their lies, the thefts, the hired lackeys, the gamers they paid to rob my house, along with a whole lot of other things that they would have to admit to. But it's easier for them to keep their mouth shut, because they know that basically as long as they say nothing, they're not going to get their asses slung out, you people will bitch at me and blame me when it's them who caused the problem. But their asses are still free. Because if they admit to it, they then have to suffer the price tag for it. But then again, this is New Zealand. And if they did it in New Zealand, I'll get picked on again like I did last time when I was yelling at those to stop robbing me, stop tampering with my cars and following me. Instead of the court listening to anything I've got to say... Because the immigrants were the ones who were turning around and saying, oh, she's doing this, she's doing that. Because they were being paid to by Vin and by Paul. They were listened to. I was ignored. But then again, you can see by the videos I've done for more than two years, that every time I say something, I'm ignored by our system because I'm a New Zealander. I'm ignored by the fans because, oh, she's some woman who must be a troll, who blah, blah, blah. I ain't no troll. I ain't no liar. And I am not repeat not bullshitting or telling stories i don't give a fuck if you people think i'm jealous or not because i'm not i've had enough i got sick and tired of being lied to by a man who kept telling me he loved me he was going to marry me lied to by a little fucking slut who used to call me names and different things who turns out to be paul walker and i've had enough and unlike most people i don't take it when people start doing shit to me i will turn around and i will stand up for myself which is what i'm doing which is what i've been doing when I'm right, I stick to my guns because I know I'm right. And again, I am right. What I have said is true. So if you don't like it, tough shit. You can't change the truth. End of story.